Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm Ashley Mazurby. Medical Monday, sponsored by East Cooper Medical Center. It's Medical Monday and joining us today, we have Dr. John Brown. He is the Medical Director of Inpatient Rehabilitation and he doesn't just do that. He has many roles at East Cooper. Tell us about that as well. Hi, thank you. Um, East Cooper Rehabilitation Facility is brand new. We're opening up in January and I have two roles there, an administrative role, which is the medical director, and then provide direct patient care as the primary rehabilitating, uh, rehabilitative physician. So uh, that's, those are my two roles. Those are big roles. <laughs> and yeah, very necessary, both required and uh, needed to optimize the patient's functional outcomes and patient satisfaction. All righty. Well, let's talk about some of the things that you are dealing with in inpatient rehabilitation. What are some of those things you're seeing? Sure. Yeah, our primary admission um, will be a patient that's had a stroke, presented to the hospital and is neurologically stable and medically stable, and then is left with substantial functional deficits such that they cannot return home safely, and they would be admitted to us. We'll provide comprehensive therapies and try to optimize their functional and independence and their medical stability within the time that's allotted to us by their insurance provider. And oh. we also will see patients that have had spinal cord injuries and traumatic brain injuries, as well as a variety of other neurological injuries, including patients that have had amputations and multiple joint issues, such as arthropathies, we call them. So you're seeing a lot of different things, right? We do, we do. We see a variety of insults that cause patients to not be able to return to the home environment after they've occurred. And since you're Absolutely. seeing all those things, it's important that you have a team, correct? And you have a care team that kind of helps uh, take care of the entire patient and all their needs. Talk about that. that. Yes, we do have what's called a multidisciplinary approach. So we have speech therapists that provide three areas of treatment. They treat cognition, which is uh, thought processing, retraining, and then we, they also treat speech disorders and swallowing disorders. And we have physical therapists and occupational therapists as well. And, um, and in the future, we may have the services of a neuropsychologist to provide uh, work in conjunction with a speech therapist to facilitate optimal cognitive rehab therapy. So those are the modalities that we use for treatment. And we all work as a team, of course, together and communicate to optimize the patient's plan of care and, and outcomes. So not only do you have this great team, but you have this uh, new state-of-the-art, brand new facility um, that you're working in, which we all love uh, that. So talk about kind of some of the features that you have there. Yeah, our, our uh, rehabilitation facility is brand new, um, is just ready to start opening. We're looking to start taking our first patients in January 1st, hopefully. Um, and we are offering state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, we have everything that's available to the industry uh, from an inpatient basis that would be needed to optimize their functional outcome. So we will be providing comprehensive treatment modalities for sure. Why should Charleston and the Low Country be really, you know, not only excited, but just feel blessed to have this type of service here? Sure, that's a great question. So as you may or may not know, Mount Pleasant does not presently have an inpatient rehabilitation facility and patients are offered just uh, one of a couple of options, which are downtown or in North Charleston. So many of them will have to drive quite a long distance. And with the ever increasing traffic that we obviously are having, that can be a burden on the family when they're already dealing with a significant burden with a loved one. So providing care in the local environment, um, the local community will help out ease some of the burden to the patient and the family. And we also believe it'll help out the facilities in the area that need uh, to have somewhere to send their patients as well that may not get a bed in one of the other hospitals because they may be full. Um, so we are very excited about it. We have a great treatment team. All the personalities are awesome, very, very uh, grounded and awesome in communicating. And we believe we're going to have a big impact in the community. Mm -hmm. We really do. Well, they're always, the technology I find at East Cooper is always top notch, right? <laughs> Technology and the personalities. Yeah, yes, very, I love it. I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure. Thank you for your time. All righty. And more Living Locals coming your way. So stay tuned. We'll be right back.